Good morning, everyone. I'm in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, on a beautiful campground called Beauty Creek Campground. And I met a fascinating man who has been in the gold business for many, many years. I think, what, 20 years, Ellie? About 15. 15 years. And so he is a, well, a professional camper, but he's also, you know, like, I guess he's done a lot of things in gold. How did you start out in gold? Uh, honestly, just out bebopping around. I used to be a rock hunter. And found out that gold's worth more than rock. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah. What's the biggest rock you found that was gold? Uh, about quarter ounce nugget. Quarter ounce. That's yeah. pretty nice. Uh, just out metal detecting in an old dried up creek bed. Oh really? Yep. What, in what uh, state? Uh, Idaho. In Idaho. That's where you're from. Yep. That's where all my gold mining's done it. Oh, I see. Uh, Do you still gold mine? Yeah, not quite as much as I used to. Now it's all just when I go camping with family. So you do panning? Yeah. Well, I run sluice boxes and dredges and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Because I know that um, they're mining old mines today because in the old they days, if you, so if you saw it, they missed a lot because, you know, it's it's microscopic now. Yep. You know? Well, back in the, well, in Idaho, the Idaho City area, if it wasn't bigger than a nickel, they'd throw it over their shoulder and keep going. No way. Yep. Wow. So all through there, you can still find pea-sized nuggets and wow. all that. Uh, mostly up towards the Atlanta, Idaho area and Idaho City. Uh, anywhere through the Morris Creek area, uh -huh. uh, Morris Creek watershed and all of that. Clear on up in here. Uh, right now, they're still mining right here at Elk City. Uh, the last mine I was running was right here in Elk City. Elk City? Yeah, Elk, Elk City, Idaho. Uh -huh. It's just below Coeur d'Alene. Okay. Uh, about two and a half hours from this campground. Oh. And do you need a license to, to uh, mine gold? What, what it is is you either have to have the permits to do it all right. or own the land. Uh, anywhere on BLM you can dig as long as you rebury. So if you dig a hole, you fill the hole. Oh, I see. When you're done. Other than that, as long as it's not public or private property, you can dig anywhere in Idaho. Uh huh. Oh, that's cool. As long as you stay within high water marks. Yeah, of course, California was the big gold strike, right? Yeah, in, in, uh, actually, in history. Idaho actually had more gold come out of it than California. It's just the California gold strike happened, so everybody moved out of Idaho. Oh. Uh, all of Idaho used to actually have. The world's largest dredge from 19 or 1853 to 1915. The world's largest uh, bucket dredge was running right up in Idaho City. Oh. It ran through Centerville, Idaho City, Pioneerville, clear up into uh, Pine, and then they broke it down and sold it to the Soviet Union. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, dredge, if I remember correctly, still running in the Soviet Union. Now, when you see you ran mines, um, is that a lot of people working for it? No, it was just family operation. Me, and my wife, my daughter, my dad, and uh, brother-in-law uh -huh. all did it, and my little brother. Uh, most on that, most we did in a year was about twenty-five ounces, which you know you split that up between six people, it hmm. breaks down pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But, and just. Mainly, it was just going out on weekends and whatnot with family, just trying to get and having fun. Some, yeah, nice. some family. Better than rock hunting, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Never made much off of rock hunting. That was more of a hobby. Right, right. Of course. <laughs> well, I guess for gold mining is a hobby for a lot of people yep, as well. Yep. Yeah, that's what it's pretty much become for me now. So, how often do you go gold mining now? Uh, about usually, we try to get out once a month. Once a month? Yeah. Wow. The whole family together. Well, it's uh, our closest claim is up on Grimes Creek, and it's only about 20 miles from our house. Oh. So it's so you claimed it? Yeah. So it's yours? I've got six claims here in Idaho. And how does that work to claim something? Uh, you go down to the BLM and with your coordinates and see if it's been claimed in the future. If not, then it's a huge process. Uh, most of Idaho's had a claim on it somewhere. Oh. If it's already had a claim and it, they haven't renewed, it's $240 for you to issue a 20-acre by 20-acre claim. Wow. And, and you own six of them. All that does is give you the mineral rights to the property. It doesn't make you own the property. Uh-huh. But you're, you're a gold miner, too? Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's hot. But I put all the sleeping bags and pillows and everything. You just need to do the air mattress and the tent and okay. all that. Okay. 
All right, go back to work. <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting you. Meeting you too, dude. Happy trails. Thank you. You guys are fantastic. Hmm.